The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, fifteenth chapter, text number thirty-six, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on December fourteenth, nineteen seventy-three, in Los Angeles. Translation: When the personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna, left this earthly planet in His self-same form. From that very day, Kali, who had appeared partially before, became fully manifest to create inauspicious conditions for those who are endowed with a poor fund of knowledge. Mm. Raise one word, Jaho, Jaho Satanya, Sabaniya Satkatha. So, when Krishna left, he left with his the self same body. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, "Jada jada hi dharma sakhlani bhavati Bharata tadatmanam sijama." Uh. <coughs> mm. In another place, Krishna says, "Atma Maya. Atma Maya. Maya means potency, energy. So there are three potencies. There are many potencies. Prasa Shakti Bibhadhi Vasriyate. God has unlimited potencies, but <coughs> learned." Scholars, saintly persons, they have not rejected potencies uh, because that cannot be. There are certain philosophers; they are of opinion that God has no potency, but that is not fact. From Vedic information, we see potency. What is that? How to understand the potency? Potency, you can understand, just like from the fire, you have got two potencies, heat and light. Nobody can deny it. <coughs> Similarly, uh, as fire is placed in one place, but it expands its potencies. Heat and light. That is within our experience. It is not very difficult. Similarly, <coughs> the sun also. Everyone can see that the sun planets, the big planet, the biggest planet, or star, as somebody says, whatever it may be, it is lying in one corner of the sky. But It expands its potencies throughout the universe. The sun sign is is distributed all over the sky, all over the planet system, planetary system, and similarly, heat also. We are feeling ninety nine million uh, miles away. Is that ninety nine miles? Sorry, is that? Scientists said, "Ninety-three huh? millions of miles away from us, still we are feeling scorching heat. Hundred <coughs> twenty degree, hundred thirty-five degree. In Middle East, the temperature is hundred thirty-five degree. It is impossible to stay on the surface of the globe. What goes down to the earth?" So potency is there. Even material thing like the sun, sun is a material thing. It has got so much potencies. So, how much potencies the supreme personality of God has got? That is called inconceivable potency. Achinta, beyond your perception, he has got that potency. 
So that is the statement of Vedas. Parasya natasya karnyam karanancha vidyate natasya sama adhikasya drishyate parasya shakti vividhaiva sriyate sabhaviki jnana bala kriyacha. This is the description of the absolute truth. Uh, the supreme person, because it is said tosha. Tosha means he is a person. So what kind of person? Like me, whole day working uh, for money? No. Not as sakarjam karananjya He has nothing to do. See here. Yeah. Krishna has nothing to do. Simply is enjoying, playing on floor and enjoying with the other enemy. That's all. He hasn't got to go to the office, to the factory. <laughs> he hasn't got. He's simply to enjoy Anandamaya Bhyasa. Huh? And we also take, imitate that enjoyment. We also want to mix young boys and girls, dance together. But because we imitate Krishna, the same thing is there. Hmm? With gopis, Krishna is dancing. Here also we are dancing in night club and this club, that club. But that will not give you satisfaction because it is imitation. <clears throat> if you want real dancing, come to Krishna. Ah, that is one too. That is Krishna consciousness. Ah, that we are trying to take the misled people from illusion to the reality. Uh, the Mayabadi philosopher, they see that there is no more any pleasure in this dancing, make it zero. Forget it. Uh, no, we don't say that. We say that this dancing is there in the original. Mm conception and the absolute truth. That is the Vedanta Sutra said, Janmadva Sajataha, whatever you are experiencing, where from it has come? It has come from the absolute. Uh, that is the absolute idea. But here in the relative world it is pervertedly reflected. And because it is not reality, Therefore, you are confused, baffled. So our proposition is, come to the reality. That is Krishna calls. The same dancing, just like here is the picture, Krishna is dancing with the gopis. We also like <coughs> anybody of us, yeah, in, in old age, uh, they are dancing with young girls. Uh, in Paris, there is cloud. All going to die, such old men, they're coming in the club, uh, paying fifty dollars as entrance fee. Then they have to pay for young girls and wine. But still they come. Uh, they cannot actually enjoy. Bayak gate king jubati nari. When one is old man, what is the use of mixing with young girls? Yes. But they like it. They like it. They pay for it. But they do not enjoy. Because if they have enjoyed, they do have been satisfied. But they are not satisfied, frustrated. Uh, so this is the position. This is the position. <coughs> Just like uh, the heat and light, if you are feeling the heat in the sun sign, but that does not mean the sun is there. We cannot say that. Sun is there. Uh, and not there. This is called in simultaneously inconceivable presence of God everywhere. He is present everywhere. Uh, that is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Maya tatamidam sarvam jagat abhakta murtina masthani sarva bhutani nahangati suavastita. Maya tatamidam sarvam. Krishna says, by my impersonal feature, I am spread everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere is Krishna. Masthani sarva bhutani, everything is resting on me. 
This is the fact. Just like in this material world, everything resting on the sun sign, that is scientific. Is it not scientific? The sun sign, the planets, they are rotating on account of this heat and sun sign. Is it not the theory? Yes. So, <clears throat> now what do, do we mean by everything? Just like this planet, everything with this planet, the trees, <clears throat> the rivers, the mountains, the cities, the cars, everything within this planet, that is an unit. So this is one planet. And there are millions and millions, trillions of planets. But how they are existing? Existing on the sun sign. So what from the sun sign comes? Uh, the sun sign comes from God, or the sun comes from God. Janma the Sujataha. Everything is born. Uh, everything is emanating from the absolute. Therefore, indirectly, everything is depending on Krishna's potency. Masani, uh, Sarabhudani, everything is resting on my potency. Nahamti is but I am not there. This is the ochinta-vidāvet-tattva, uh, simultaneously one and different. This is our philosophy. <coughs> so our point is that Krishna or God is there and He is working through His potencies. Just like a big man, he is sitting in his parlor. He hasn't got to go. Just like we have seen Mr. Bidla in uh, those who are with me, they have seen. He is sitting in his home, but he has got many potencies. He has got secretaries, class, and these and that, so many things. So they are doing all work. He hasn't got to work. A big man means he hasn't got to work personally. He has got so many assistants. Similarly, Krishna he is the Supreme. He hasn't got to work himself. He hasn't got to work. Vindavanam Paritajana Padami Pangachit. He is always engaged <coughs> in his playing flute and dancing with the gopis. That's all. Pleasure. Anandamaya Bhyasa. That is pleasure. <coughs> so, uh, his potencies are working. <coughs> what kind of potency that is described? I have given the example. Just like the sun is there, and the sun sign is there, and the sun sign is working, everything. By the sun sign, the trees are coming out, the leaves are coming out, they are dropping when there is no sun sign. So, everything depending on sun sign. That is explained in the Vedic literature. Eko desha sthita shagne jusna vistarina jatha parasa brahmana shakti sarvidam akhilam jaga. Parasa brahmana shakti, whatever you are seeing in this cosmic manifestation, they are simply manifestation, demonstration of the potency of the Lord. So uh, we are, we take our birth and we accept our death uh, uh, not independently. We are under the another potential. We are also on potential. We potential, there are prasa sakti vividhaiva sriyate. Those potencies have been divided into three, multi, but roughly they have been divided into three. One is called internal potency. One is called the external potency. And one is called the marginal potency. So the external potency means this material world, the whole material universe, so many universes, so many planets, stars, skies, and everything. These are the 
demonstration of the external potency. And similarly, there is the spiritual world, spiritual world that we cannot see, that is not within our experience, but we get it from the Shastra in the Bhagavad Gita. It is said, Parastasmatu Bhava Anna. Uh, Krishna says, there is another nature. Uh, Parastasma, this material nature, beyond that, there is another nature. Parastasma to bhava anya, bhaktya bhaktya sanatana, that is eternal. This material nature is not eternal. Uh, just like your body, my body, it is not eternal. Similarly, this gigantic body of universe, that is also not eternal. Uh, it has a death of creation and it has a death for uh, dissolution. That is the nature. Uh, therefore it is said uh, that that material nature is sanata. <coughs> that is never created, neither it is annihilated. Uh, so we marginal, marginal means actually we belong to the spiritual nature because we are spirit soul. But we have come in contact with this material nature, samaya uh. So, therefore, we are uh, seeing our position incompatible. We cannot adjust here. Therefore, we are getting one type of body and enjoying or suffering another type of body, another type of body, another type of body. This is going on. Therefore, we are called marginal. If we like, we can transfer ourselves to the spiritual world and remain eternally because we are of the spiritual nature. Uh, that is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Najayate namriyate va kadachit nitta sasato yam na hannati hannamani sarire. This is the description of the soul. The soul is never born, na jāyate. Na mriyate, neither it dies. Na jāyate, vā mriyate, vā padāchit, at any time. Not that <coughs> sometime we used to live or sometimes we used to die. No. Everlastingly, eternally. We never take our birth, never we die. Uh, then what is this death? Uh, this death is of the material body, not of the soul. Therefore, it is said, na hannate hannamani sarire, more distinctly, that don't think that the soul is dead after the annihilation of this body. Uh, uh. So now the conclusion is that because we are marginal, in between the spiritual nature and the material nature, Although we are spiritual, although you are, we are, our na- real nature is na jayate namriyate, we never take birth, never die. Uh, but on account of, your, of our contact with this material nature, we are getting this material body, and the body is changing. Tatha dehantara prapti. Body is changing, and that we have taken as our nature. Birth and death. That is not our nature. Uh, we are spirit soul. We are put into marginal because <coughs> just like the margin is ex- explained, tatastha, uh, that is the, we are translated into marginal. Just like we go on the Pacific uh, beach, uh, someday we find the water is covering the beach. And someday we say it is open. There is no water. So that is called marginal. Marginal. Sometimes it is covered by water. Sometimes there is no water. Similarly, we being marginal potency, we are sometimes influenced by this material nature. Not always. Because at the present moment, for sometimes we are under the material nature. Now, if we try 
then we can get out of this covering of material nature and come to the spiritual nature. That is Krishna consciousness movement. Krishna consciousness movement means don't remain in the marginal position, come into the land, so there will be no disturbance by the water. This is position. If you remain on the marginal position, then sometimes you will be covered by the water and sometimes it will be dry. But if you little come forward, this side, land side, the ocean has no power to touch you. But Krishna is not like that. That is described here. Although Krishna left this world, that does not mean that He left this world as we live. Our living this world means we are living this material body and accepting another body. Therefore, at the present moment, we are not in our own body. Our body is changing. Now this American body, and next birth may be Russian body. This is going on. We are fighting against the Russian, Americans. But he may get the Russian body next life. Therefore, as American, he fought the whole life with the Russian, and he is going to become a Russian. Sadātatva-bhāvita. This is the law of nature. Ah. This is the law of nature. And then again five seconds America. As soon as he gets the Russian body, then he becomes again America. And this is going on. Bhutta, bhutta, praliyatya. Sometime Russian, sometime American. God fighting. That's all. So this is called Maya. This is Maya. Ah. Everyone is doing that. Everyone is doing that. Therefore, Lord Chaitanya says, Eirupe Brahmanda Bhramite Kono Bhagwanji. It is the, the living entities are loitering like this. Sometimes this body, sometimes that body, sometimes this way, sometimes that way. He is simply loitering. Uh, he is not getting where to take shelter. Where permanent life, permanent peace, permanent happiness, he does not know. He does not know. Simply changing. In the, in the material world also, they are simply changing some form of government, electing one rascal, again rejecting another rascal, another rascal, because they are all rascals. They have no other alternative than to elect one rascal. But they are thinking by <coughs> Uh, rejecting this rascal, we shall be happy. He does not know how to elect. Uh, he does not know how to elect. Uh, <coughs> he, they, they are themselves blind, and they are accepting a leader who is also blind. So what will be the profit? If you are led by, you are blind, and if you are led by another blind, then what will be the profit? Both of you will fall down in the ditch. That is going on. Therefore, if you want real happiness, you must take the leadership of a man who has got eyes to see. Then it will be all right. <coughs> so whose eyes are Open. Ah. And that is in the Vedic literature says, Ajnana timinandhasya jnananjana salakaya chakshur militam jena tasmai si gurave namaha. Ah. It is the business of the guru because everyone is blind or in darkness cannot see. Ah. So it is the guru's business to open his eyes. Ah or to help him to see things as they are. That is Guru's business. Ajñāna-timirāndhasya, everyone is covered by the darkness of ignorance. So how darkness can we move if there is light? 
uh, immediately if we if you make the switch off of the electricity, this room will be dark. And again, you make the switch on, again we light. Uh, just like uh, at night we cannot see everything is there because the light sun is not there. In the morning, as soon as the sun is there, again everything you can see. Uh, so things are there because we are in the darkness of ignorance. We cannot see them properly. Oh, I am there, you are there, God is there, everything is there. Simply we have to uh, get the light or the proper situation to, to see things as they are. That is one. The Vedic literature, therefore, uh, advises that if you want, first of all, Vedas advises, don't keep yourself in the darkness. Tamasīma jūtikgama. Don't keep yourself in the darkness. This is human life. In the human life, in the animal life, you kept yourself in darkness because there was no possibility of come to the light. If I invite all the dogs and animals or Los Angeles city to come here to hear about Bhagavad Gita, it is not possible because they are animals. But if I appeal to the human being, because he is human being, he may be interested. He should be interested, but the time is so bad that nobody is interested, but still he may be interested. But that is not possible for the animals, cats and dogs. <clears throat> so in the human form of life there is necessity of coming to the light and make a solution of the problems of life. Therefore Krishna comes. That is the statement of Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita. Jadajadahi dhanma sakdhani bhavati bharata tadatmanam sijamaha atumaya. So Krishna comes. He does not come like us. We are under the control of the material nature. But Krishna is not under the control of material nature. That is to be understood. Therefore, here it is said that. Uh, <coughs> Jaho satanya sa means om. And tanya, tanu, tanu means his body. We have got distinction. I am the soul, but my this body is material. This distinction we have got because we are conditioned soul. Actually, I am not this body, I am soul. But I have become conditioned by this material body. And in case of Krishna, he is not conditioned by this material body. Therefore it is said, satanna, by his own original and spiritual body. This is the distinction you must understand. <coughs> One scholar has described, because he does not know Krishna, and is still writing comments on Bhagavad Gita, when Krishna says, ah, Manmana bhavamad bhakto madjaji magna muskuru. Just think of myself. Think of, uh, yeah, just become my devotee. Offer your obeisances unto me. Worship me. This rascal says, it is not to Krishna, the person, but to the soul. Now he say, they see how much ignorant he is. He does not know that Krishna has no such division as his self or soul and the body. And he is writing comment. And this is very scholarly, it is said. He is a rascal number one, and he is accepted as scholar. This is going on. This is going on. All over the world. Thank you very much.